Well, we start with the news that broke in the last hour, and former Labour councillor Ricky Jones has been arrested after he appeared to incite violence at a counter-protest. Jones was suspended by the Labour Party because, uh, before his arrest, here is the incident in question. Hey, huh? We've got children and women using those trains. It's doing the summer holiday. They are disgusting, nothing back. And we need to call their friends and get rid of them all. So there was a lot in there, sort of mixed with the Free Free Palestine and somebody from Amnesty International, at least wearing a, a jacket, a high-vis, uh, Amnesty logoed uh, top. And the words that he used there, if my ears uh, are correct, are disgusting Nazi fascists and we need to cut all their throats and get rid of them all. But he does end uh, with, thank you, God bless you all. Well, I'm joined in the studio by reporter Adam Cherry. Adam, what was he talking about? Why was he making these comments in the first instance? Well, I mean, as you saw in the video there, he was at a, a, a protest yesterday in Wall and mm -hmm. he was responding to the, the riots we've seen over the last week. And that, those were, the comments were directed at those protesters uh, that, that we've seen over the last few days. Mm. Uh, Labour coming out very strongly on this in the last couple of hours, saying we completely condemn those comments and assuring that he has been suspended. Mm. And, as you say, now in the last hour, the Metropolitan Police saying they've arrested a man in his 50s, they've arrested this man, and he is in custody as we speak. A big headache for Labour, of course. Uh, it's not the only one, though, I'm no, afraid. No, there's another one, Because there? there is another one unfolding as we speak. Yes. This is about Lauren Edwards, yeah. an MP for Rochester and Strood. Now, Lauren Edwards, over 10 years ago, in July 2009 and some in 2010 and 11, a series of, of tweets uh, which have a, a, a quite appalling language, actually. Mm. Uh, I want these so-and-so Estonian so-and-sos out of my flat. Another one attacking uh, Pakistani people. Um, it, it, some really ugly stuff. Now, she has apologised for that and said that she uh, whole, wholeheartedly apologises mm. and she's learned from it. And, you know, have, having been a counsellor previously as well, she, she is built on that, you know, and, and this is all in well, the Well, she wasn't a counsellor when she made those comments, though, was she? She wasn't, she wasn't at the time. No, no, she's been a counsellor since 2021. Mm. But, I mean, either way, it raises the question, how did none of this get past Labour's vetting? So the National Executive Committee, mm. they are responsible for... Uh, vetting what Keir Starmer claimed would be first-class candidates in this election. So she's a brand new MP. Mm. She's one of the new lot, um, and yet all of this completely slipped by. And there's plenty of it. Uh, and it's someone on the National Executive Committee saying, "Look, we missed these tweets uh, during the due diligence process." And you have to ask how that happened, given that Starmer said we will have a zero tolerance approach to anti-Semitism, racism and discrimination. And you've seen how quickly they've moved on that Labour councillor. We've just seen that video. Uh, question is now, will they do, this, do something similar with this uh, MP? Mm. The bar, the, because they set, they set the bar very high. So now the question is, you know, does this clear that or not? Well, it is an interesting question, but, but also, if that had been, say, a reform candidate or yes. somebody from another party, mm. this would have been horrendous. Mm. Yeah, well, reform are saying effectively the same thing in the last few hours. Uh, and that, you know, given the problems that they've had in the past, Labour, they, Labour themselves, anti Semitism with the Corbyn leadership, they're very keen not to have any of this sort of stuff uh, polluting their. Uh, their brand and, the, mm. and Starmer's leadership. So uh, they're not commenting at the moment, but this is a developing story, and I think a lot of attention will be paid to this. Mm, because they have got form for that as well. I mean, wasn't it Afzal Ali as well, who was the, one of the candidates who was suspended? They didn't end up with an MP. 